Okay, I think she is done. There's a whole lot going on in here. This is the uh, power source for the wire EDM that I'm building. It is based on the um, PCB board by um, Mr. Fleming, who sells these PCB boards. Um, what's going on in here is these are the four MOSFETs that will um, switch on and off um, the actual output that will go eventually to the wire cutter or the EDM plunger. Uh, I have three transformers, 25 volts each uh, AC, that are connected together and are going through these two voltage regulators to be turned into approximately 106 volts. Uh, they will charge this bank of capacitors. And then the front panel, and this is an old amplifier that I used, so all the turning knobs are gone, but these are all the switches that can uh, manipulate the current that goes to the system. I haven't played with that yet. You can flip the polarity uh, on uh, the wires to make the either the object that you're cutting positive or negative and vice versa. Uh, this would be burn means it's actually operating. The edge finder would mean that if, the, if this is switched to edge finder, uh, I get a signal uh, once the two objects hit the wire and the uh, object I'm cutting. Uh, let's see what else is going on. That back there is a 12 volt um, transformer that feeds the uh, little controller board here. These are the uh, bank of resistors controlled by these switches to uh, make different combinations of parallel and series um, resistors. These are all 50 uh, watts, 25 ohms. Now the output uh, goes to um, this here would be the output that goes to the machine that does the cutting. This is the output that goes to the voltage meter and the current meter, which I had hoped to put inside, but the interference inside is such that the um, Arduino will not operate properly. So I have to separate that into a different box, which will probably be its own uh, Arduino controls. It's also going to control the CNC operations. But um, as we can see now, it is running at zero amps and about 90 volts. If 90 volts is not correct, it's because I've switched the outputs, so I need to recalibrate this. But um, what will happen is right now, I control the frequency and the duty cycle through this um, um, digital uh, pulse generator, which is bypassing part of the motherboard here that was done by uh, Mr. Fleming. Uh, so on this board I would have done with pop meters and using a 555 timer. Instead I'm using the, this controller here where I can change the, um, the duty cycle and the actual frequency. And I don't know if you will be able to hear it, but if I actually shorted them right now, I've got a, a resistor bank back there in between, but um, you'll hear a buzzing and that's a frequency of um, 4976 that's the sound and then you can also see that the voltage drops to 27 volt and it goes to 0 0.9 amps and so that basically shows it's working i can try to change the frequency you can actually hear the pulsing i'll switch it to a ridiculously low um let's say four hertz uh, four hertz and then you should be hearing a dunk, 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 dunk. So now I'm going to make contact again. So there you have it. Uh, I think I'll be able to close up this box and continue on with actually testing metal to metal and uh, creating some mechanism either CNC or a plunger to actually do the cutting. Um, that's another thing I have. This, this lower bank is all output for a servo controller to actually control the plunging of a, um, a probe into the metal. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use that, but I've definitely, you know, reserved all the wires outside so I can still connect it if need be. But I'm hoping to do something with CNC uh, more sophisticated than just a plunger.